Come on, we rocking, man. Watch that. Shout out to the bro. What you want right now? Anything. Anything you want. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Today's Real Toronto stories, we're going to talk about 21 Need and the series of events that led up to the incarceration and ripple effect that is still felt today. All of the events that I'm about to speak about are public records and this is in no way to glorify gang violence or prison culture. This is another cautionary tale so that you don't go down the same path. R.I.P. Javante Smart, aka Smoke Dog, and Ernest Modeke, aka Kosi, and condolences to their family. Family. Leave us a comment and let us know who you want to see next. Please like and subscribe. Let's get into it. 21 Need is a popular Toronto rapper from the West End area of Toronto called Jane and Finch. More specifically, Driftwood. For people outside of Toronto, this is known as Toronto's most dangerous area. For the people in Toronto who know, this area is definitely a name brand block and unique for being located right by Toronto's York University. The area is a blend of students that commute and live on the beautiful campus, but right outside this hub for academia is a grittier place. Driftwood Avenue runs north to south parallel to Jane Street, started from south from the Jane and Finch Boys and Girls Club at Grand Ravine Drive, all the way up past Finch Avenue, ending in some short blocks away from Shoreham Drive, aka Shore Shot, because you can get shot for sure. The long winding avenue is inhabited with a mix of immigrants from African countries, Asian, South Asian, Latin American, European, and Jamaicans. A statistic that I found showed that by 2002, the area had one of the highest proportion of youth, sole supported families, refugees and immigrants, low income earned, and public housing tenants in any community in Toronto. In that same year, 70% of the neighborhood did not have proper indoor plumbing and blackouts and brownouts were common. I say all that to say that the area was grimy as f to go back to 21 Neat's life, he was born by the name of Abdul Qadir Khandul on October 25th, 1995. He grew up in his Driftwood home with four sisters and three brothers, one of them being 22 Neat, RIP. His father was largely absent from the household, and as a teenager, it seemed that 21 was flying pretty straight. He graduated high school and worked construction, carpentry, and any general labor jobs to help with the finances in the household. Like most youths in these underserved areas, it was easy for 21 Nee and his brother 22 Nee to turn to the streets like most of their childhood friends. The great thing about these childhood friends though is that they had musical talent and by 2015, Robin Banks emerged with a slew of bangers starting up top movements. Adding a spotlight to the infamous area and the rise in talent like Pressa, FB, and the Talib Twins. The Was Gang and the Neat Gang were making an impact on the Toronto music scene and they were major contributors from all ends. Think about it, 2015, that's when Casper TNG repping downtown Toronto projects Alexander Park aka The Peel dropped Dope Boys, Boogs repping Scarborough dropped Black Challenger, Smoke Dog was going crazy with Moji and the new Regent Park movement and everyone was touching 100,000 views and even a million plus views on YouTube. And in 2017, they decided to start releasing music. 21, who was 21 in 2017, became 21 Neat, and 22, who was one year older, well, you get the point. He dropped solo joints back in 2017, like Ball and Changed Up. He also appeared on the Northside Jane compilation, put out by the Up Top Movement on a song called Rap with FB Neat. He even had a track with his bro 22 Neat called Filthy, which is at 234,000 views on a random re-upload that I found. Let's not forget the track Money Music with 35 Neat, now known as Toronto rapper YG that dropped on April 19th, 2018, mere months before the summer that would change 21 Neat's life and the whole Toronto music scene. Shout out to our sponsors, Astro Pink, always coming with that loud, loud. Check them out on their website, myastropink.com, or you can hit them up on Instagram at astro underscore pink. If you know, you know. Now, while 21 Neat was trying to get more immersed in the music, 22 was getting deeper into the street politics. By March of 2016, 22 Neat was out on bail for firearms possession and proceeds from an armed robbery, and then a charge in September of 2017, of which he was on the run for. Rival Hoods always had rappers that would mention stuff in their rhymes, but in 2018, things were elevated to a different level. 
social media, specifically Instagram, with the introduction of longer videos and IG Live, made beef more visible and shade more streamlined. In that time, there was a heated rivalry between Alexander Park, aka The Peel, with reps like Casper TNG, K Money, and Benali Stacks, and Regent Park, with their biggest representative being Smoke Dog, who was getting attention from the US and the UK, and was fresh off of tour with Driftwood rapper Pressa from the legendary Boy Meets World Tour, headlined by the world's biggest rapper Drake. When he got back on Canadian soil, he was back to business, shooting a music video in Regent Park with UK rapper AJ Tracy called No Discussion, produced by Murder Beats. And his last music video, Fountain Freestyle, which was filmed in Alexander Park as a sign of disrespect to his ops. By June of 2018, a lot of people, myself included, thought that the beat between Regent Park and P.O. was not going to end in any positive way. But on June 30th, 2018, things took a turn for the worse with a slight twist. Around 8 p.m. that evening, there was a great day party running into the nighttime at the Cube nightclub located in the entertainment district of downtown Toronto. A verbal altercation happened between Smoke Dog and two gentlemen in the club. The two gentlemen traveled a long way downtown to party from the Driftwood area and one of the two men being 21 Meat. The altercation escalated from words to fire outside, leaving club patrons and innocent bystanders scrambling, running for their lives. When the smoke cleared, three people were left severely injured. Ernest Modekwe, aka Kosi, an unnamed woman, and Smoke Dog. All three were transported to hospital, but only the unnamed 37-year-old woman would make it out alive. Smoke Dog and Kosi succumbed to their injuries, and their families and the Toronto scene were left torn. About two weeks after the shooting, police issued an arrest warrant for 22-year-old Abdul Kahir Hamdul in connection with the murders. 21 Neat went on the run and a Canada-wide warrant was issued for his arrest, just like the one his older brother had years before. In August 2019, 21 Neat was arrested in Burnaby, British Columbia. Three years later, in July of 2022, he was sentenced to life in prison with eligibility of parole in 20 years, which means he may be home in 2042. Now what have we learned here? All parties involved were very young men and Smoke Dog's loss has left a huge hole in our Canadian music scene filled with violence and street politics. Two hoods 30 kilometers away from each other still beefing on social media, music and in the streets. 21 Neat in jail and two prominent figures deceased. Lives changed forever as well as the whole Toronto music scene. RIP Smoke Dog and Cozy and condolences to both of their families. Now let us know in the comments who you want to see next Hit that like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for the next Real Toronto Stories. Peace.